Uh, my name's Sam Babalus. I'll be conducting your auction here today. Uh, and obviously assisting me is the listing agent, uh, Jaden Coulson, that many of you have met during the open for inspections. If you've got any questions, ladies and gentlemen, we've got Alexia in the crowd, Simon, and obviously Byron, the director of the uh, company. We represent Harcourts in Roeville. So we appreciate we do this for a living. Uh, seems these days, 24 hours a day, around the clock, so given the market conditions. But it may have been a while since you last attended an auction. So please don't be shy to ask a question or if you like some assistance with your bidding today, we want to make sure that you don't miss out today you didn't understand maybe what increments are bid in or how it all works and plays out. So folks, we're here to help and we want what you want, and that is to secure this uh, terrific opportunity here today at number 15 Lifford Road in Fernbury Gully. Well, ladies and gentlemen, legalising today's sales are standard. Real Estate Institute of Victoria combined law into the Victoria contract of sale. It's the one that's been on display for the last half hour. I'll be reading through it in summary and then we'll go into, get into the exciting part of the auction, which is to find out uh, who'll be, hopefully, the proud new owner of this residence. The particulars of sale state that we're Harcourts Roeville, located just down the road, ladies and gentlemen, in Wellington Road in Roeville. The contracts have been expertly prepared by the vendor's conveyancer, in this instance being Winters Conveyancing, located in Ferntree Gully also. Today you're buying the land with all the improvements, folks, which is better described in the attached copy and plan and title, being lot 170, volume 8338, folio 858. It's a lot of numbers. All it simply means is that you're buying the land with the improvement being the dwelling, better known to you and I as number 15, Lifford Road in Ferntree Gully. Together with all the chattels of a fixed and permanent nature, that's carpets, light fittings, electric uh, light fittings, window furnishings, everything that you'd expect will pass with the property for settlement. What's it worth? Well, I can tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, our vendors have set a very realistic reserve price today. They're not testing the market. And having just come from an auction, ladies and gentlemen, around the corner, which sold for close to $150,000 above reserve, all I can say to you is this, that people that are getting in the real estate market are earning more than their day job simply by sleeping and getting into the property market and buying property. No secret, you only have to look at all the stats, folks, and that is that the market is going from strength to strength to strength. So every week that you wait, that you might think, well, I don't want to part with my money, it's costing you more. So keep that in mind today in case you need to stretch to secure this home today. We're calling for a 10% deposit, folks, with the balance of money to be paid in either 30 or 60 days. They're the terms offered by the vendors, and of course today, is a cash condition, unconditional contract being an auction. There is no calling off or conditions attached. Folks, the settlement date will be the date upon which vacant possession shall be given, namely upon acceptance of title and payment of the whole of the purchase monies. And the date of the sale, ladies and gentlemen, is today's date, the date of the auction, being the 22nd of April 2017. With regards to the general conditions, I'll take them as being read. They're no different from any other condition. Uh, or auction that you may have attended. With regards to the special conditions, I'm obligated to read the auction clause and it follows as such, ladies and gentlemen, that today's auction will be conducted in accordance with the rules and any additional conditions that were made available for inspection before the start of today's auction. The vendors have set a reserve price today. As the auction will indicate bidders on request, should it be required? The law prohibits false bids. The law prohibits major disruptions by bidders and the law prohibits bidders attempting to prevent others from bidding and provides fines for such conduct that I can impose today as the auctioneer. The words, ladies and gentlemen, I'll use if I make a vendor bid is simply the term vendor bid. Only I as the auctioneer today am able to place those bids as vendor bids, ladies and gentlemen. And as I mentioned before, uh, the rules do permit vendor bids today being an auction. Now, if you're here to purchase with somebody else and you'd like to obviously nominate another person into the contract, you are able to do so right up until 14 days prior to settlement, ladies and gentlemen. So please have confidence. Just let uh, Jaden know when you come inside as the purchaser to place the words and or nominee uh, next to your name when you're signing, and you can then nominate someone under the substitution clause which is contained in the contract. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, as always with auctions these days, if and when we get to our vendor's minimum position, which is better known to you and the public as the reserve, and I deem the property knocked down and sold, I'm unable to accept any late bids. So we want to make that very clear. We get very excited if we get it to that point, 
and so should you because it means that you're no longer taking home only a contra uh, brochure, but you're taking away a contract and the keys in 30, 60 days time as the new owner. So they're the uh, special conditions in a nutshell, ladies and gentlemen, with regards to the vendor statement, or as it's more commonly known as the section 32, it's as straight as it comes, folks. There is uh, the total outgoings to the property, which includes your council rates to Knox City Council and South East Water, which is your charges paid, charged annually, excluding usage, of course, which is metered as you are in your own current homes, should not exceed $2,500 per annum. We are zoned general residential zone schedule two, which is one of the best zonings that you can get in these parts, let alone Melbourne. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, we have a title here being lot 170, which shows we have a very large home here on a beautiful allotment, which is on some 743 square metres of Clue Jip real estate. Larger than some of the normal blocks that you'll find in Ferntree Gully that sometimes fall in that 550, 600 square metre mark. This is 743 blue chip square metres of prime real estate. As I mentioned, ladies and gentlemen, the contract is pretty straightforward. That's all I have to say about the paperwork. But with regards to the home, before we call for your participation, with regards to the bidding, you'd be rather remiss of me not to say a couple of quick words about the home. And it is quite unique in that it offers, obviously, everyone a great room, able to spend time in here and not even be in each other's ears or hair. You, as you walk through the home, ladies and gentlemen, greeted by a great little lounge area, that sitting room at the front, where you enjoy all the beautiful gardens and the landscaping and, of course, all the sunlight. A functional kitchen for that hostess that likes to prepare meals for the family. And, of course, when you call everyone out from their bedrooms, three to choose from for the kids. Uh, that study doubles up as that third. And then, of course, I heard some of you, as you walk through to that back room, where the kids would entertain, perhaps, the guests and family when they come to visit. And then those that dared to venture up the beautiful spiral staircase probably thought, wow, I haven't seen a bedroom that big, main bedroom, since the last time I stayed in the presidential suite at Crown. The whole entire level upstairs for you to enjoy. You can almost chase each other around up there and still have some fun. Beautiful ensuite, the spa bar, it's all there for you to enjoy, and of course, the retreat just off the end there, which would be great, perhaps for any new mothers, even as a nursery. Whatever your heart desires, it's there for you. Off-street parking for several vehicles, should you be a tradesperson. Low-maintenance gardens at the back. Barbecue out under the veranda, ladies and gentlemen. The tandem car, uh, car here, two-car garage just behind me. And it has so many more possibilities. You can fence the front off, put some gates in, whatever your heart desires. It lends itself to not only a growing family, but anyone that has maybe that's on the tools, a tradesperson, plenty of storage area for all your bits and pieces, I commend the property to you. Location-wise, well, your sport for choice. If it's not out on Ferntree Gully Road where you've got the 693 bus, the 755 bus is only around the corner as well. For those that have got young families, of course, you've got Mountain Gate Primary, Mountain Gate Shopping Centre, Jones Park Reserve if you want to have a kick and the, the kids are a bit of a long kick in the footy, well, it's there for you to enjoy, and the best part is the council will know it for you. You don't have to worry about that. You've got a low maintenance garden. So, folks, as I said to you before, whether you need to head up to the shops and uh, the shopping centre, it's all here for you. And, of course, Mountain Gate Shopping Centre only hop, skip and jump away. All the freeways that you need to commute to the larger shopping centres, the Mornington Peninsula, whatever your heart desires, again, very accessible from this very location. As I mentioned to you before, interest rates at record lows still. This is your time, your opportunity. I overheard a gentleman saying earlier that he told his mate, don't sell the house. Was that you, sir? He paid 154 and it nearly sold for a million bucks this morning. Ladies and gentlemen, don't kid yourself. In this country, it is the last tax haven, your principal place of residence. This is your chance to make some money. This is your chance to get in at about entry level here at Ferntree Gully. So, without further ado, I love the property. Do you love it? The only way to tell me is if you put your hand up, spotlight off me, over to you, who'd like to start me off for this wonderful home. Start me where you want, ladies and gentlemen. Now, see a sensible start. <coughs> Come on, don't be shy. It'll be the second hardest bid you'll have to make in an auction, other than that last one when we get to the pointy end. 
was the debt to start? At seven hundred thousand dollars. You'd struggle to find another one like it offering this accommodation, this land size, folks. At seven hundred thousand dollars. Well, if you won't start me, I'll be forced to keep talking. I hate the sound of my own voice, but I'm going to start with a vendor bid at seven hundred thousand dollars. And let's go in tens. That seems like the right place to start as increments. Yon seven hundred thousand dollars. I'm in your hands now. Seven one zero is what I'm after. At seven hundred thousand dollars now. Bit of it at seven. Bend or bid. Over to you now, folks. Don't be shy. We're here to help. At seven hundred thousand dollars. This is your chance now to shine. Seven even money. Can I see a further advance? At seven hundred thousand dollars. Seven hundred thousand dollars. All finished. You're certainly silent, but are you done? At seven hundred thousand dollars, your opportunity. First call, seven hundred. Come on, folks. There should be two hands and two legs up at this sort of money. This is called a bargain. Seven even money. Pen in the rise. Second call, quickly. You need to bid to buy. I'm not a mind reader. I'd be a very wealthy man and auctioneer if I was. At seven hundred thousand dollars. Third opportunity. Quickly. Third call. All finished. All signed. All done. At seven hundred thousand dollars. Looking for a better bit of offer from you. At seven hundred thousand dollars. The scary thing is, ladies and gentlemen, that if there wasn't a house on here, we wouldn't be too far off only land value. You're getting pre pretty much a house thrown in for a couple of hundred thousand, perhaps. You wouldn't build it for that, not even double that with the cost of building today. This is your chance to buy the family a home on a great size allotment in a great location. I'm going to test you one last time to see if you've come as spectators or bidders. One, twice, quickly. 700,000 is the bid. Third call. All finished. All silent. All done. At seven hundred thousand dollars, looking for seven ten anywhere. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you're waiting for me to go inside, let me explain to you how we'll play from here. I don't need to go inside. We won't be referring the bid because, on our recommendation, we'll stay out here. So, if there's any further interest, otherwise, on our recommendation, we're going to hold over for private treaty. Go back through the list of those that requested contract prior to today and sell it later today. If you want to be in the box seat and be the highest bidder, ladies and gentlemen, you must show your interest now. We don't want to get into an auction after an auction. The highest bidder by law has first right to treat with us. Have me disclose the reserve to you in private before we speak to anyone else. So at 700000 there's no further bidding. I'm going to call it three times. Otherwise, we will hold over for private negotiations and continue marketing the property. At $700,000, are you all finished? Silent. Done. First call, seven hundred. do Don't drive home and regret ringing us later and we tell you it's sold. Now's your time to act. $700,000, second call, quickly. Seven tens what I'm after. At seven hundred thousand dollars. Last chance. Seven hundred's the bid. Third. Final call. At seven hundred thousand dollars. All finished. All silent. All done. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to hold over for private treaty. If you have any further interest, seven hundred thousand will be the platform and beyond, from which we would like him to enter into discussions. If you have interest below that, we wish you well with your property search, and we may see you at the next part for auction in an hour or so. Otherwise, we thank you for attending today's auction, and we wish you a lovely long weekend, and of course, lest we forget the diggers. Thanks, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy your weekend. Thanks for attending today's auction. All the best.